Legend of Total War here with part 7 of my Rome 2 Legendary Caesar in Gaul campaign as the Gallic Confederation, or Aravoni. On the last episode, I kicked the Romans out of, what's this one called, Narbonesis. Taking, uh, I don't think I took Tolosa last video, but I took Devona, Sagadonum, and Narbo Martius. Killing Caesar at least twice. And these guys here, they need to be taken down, but... Whilst we've got the peace treaty, which I stupidly signed, I shouldn't uh, break it, otherwise it'll lure, lower my standing with the other Gallic tribes, which I really can't afford to do right now. Okay, now with Narbo under my control, it would be very good for me to build up this region so that it can be a nice money-making and secure province. Needs to be converted. Actually, it's not not a huge priority. That needs to be converted. We don't want Latin culture here. Convert that. Upgrade this. Yes, because that'll provide more money at the cost of food. But I seem to have plenty of it, so it's not a real big deal. Okay, so we've also got access to Massalia here, who seem to be trading with Rome. Let's see if they'll trade with me as well. They don't like I me at all. Carefully to your words. What about your non-aggression pact? No. These fuckheads need to die then. But they're not a huge priority because they're, they should be quite peaceful. Let's see what they're, um, it says about them. They're cautious and treacherous, so they're not likely to attack, but if I get any agreements with them, they're likely to break it, apparently. See, I would be the opposite. I would be reliable, but expansionist. In this campaign, at least. In general, I'd be unreliable and expansionist. Uh, Alright, what else is there to do? Researching some stuff. Not important. Everything seems fine. No real need to recruit any units. Let's just keep you moving around up here. I might actually try and send them up to Britannia. See if anyone wants to trade with me over there. Because I don't need to go and see any of these fucking tribes out here. I only want to see the, the places where I can trade with to try and increase my income. Alright, anyway, let's move on to the next turn. Of course, there's always somebody that needs to be leveled up. It is good that it prompts me, though. It should also prompt me when I'm ending the term with a region that has an empty space that's not being constructed. That would be nice. Could have saved me a bit of fucking effort with Mediolanium Centonum earlier on. Anyway, moving on. Okay, so we can see what's going on in, in uh, northern Italy now thanks to having some stake in the sea. It looks like these fuckers really want a piece of me. But they're not going to be able to do much. Faction destroyed. Whatever, I don't care. Population surplus. Good, whatever. Is this a fleet? It's transports. If they came here, they would get slaughtered, but I can't go over there and fight them at sea. I'd be, it'd be a disaster. And over here, they've got another fucking dude who we need to get rid of again. Good. Makes him better. That provides extra public order, which will, over time, increase the, the tax rate, making this settlement probably one of the most lucrative that I own now. Now, with the money that I've got, I don't want to build any more, or, or um, train any more troops. I want to keep expanding my economy, because the last thing I need is to go bankrupt. Actually, now that I think about it, am I not taxing fully? So, upping that would certainly help. And all my regions are still in the green. Which is good. Uh, Gogovia, or Jogovia, whatever, that can grow. 
I just wonder if from here I should build something that's going to make money, food, or public order. Public order here is already pretty good. It can continue to expand as I improve the culture. So if I was to research both of these, which would take 26 turns in total to get all of this, that would give me an extra two public order. Plus, I've also got troops here. Could expand that for another four public order. Plus there's this, that's going to be researched very soon. I'm thinking go money. We definitely need more money. But then again, I also intend to expand this. If I could do it anyway, I need money. Money pays for troops, troops pay for conquest. Conquest makes me money. And so the circle continues. Don't worry about them. Yes. Now over here, this region is frontier, but... Okay, we've got these guys over there as well. What are they doing? Are they a client state of Rome? No, they're at war with Massalia. The guards will have me listen to you. But do not pass the day in words without merit. Hmm. Okay, they want a trade agreement with me. That's good. They can pay for it. Very good. You bless our How much money am I making out of that? I will show Up wisdom it. and accept them. Let's see. Will they join the Confederacy? No, I could probably pay them to do it. Hmm. Defensive alliance could be pretty good. I cannot say yes. All How about now? Alright, maybe not this turn then. From deep wisdom, although the offer is but shallow. I cannot Everyone either loves me or totally hates me, and that's fine. It's the ambiguous people. The people in the yellow you gotta watch out for, because they're unpredictable. Okay, where's my spy? Time for you to head up over here. See if we can trade with them. The Morini, they don't like me either. Why is that? Expansionism. You wish, well, whatever. Well, fuck you. What else? Can I declare war on them? I know it's, it should actually say four turns, but sometimes you just can't rely on this bullshit. I'm sure you have many yeah, four turns. For me, but... Worst thing I can do is reduce my reliability ratings. I think increasing that is pointless. Utterly stupid. Same with that. Useless. And again, useless. Four public order for two extra food? Why would anybody bother with that? It's so stupid. See, that one actually kind of makes a bit of sense. Now everything seems to be under control. I'm considering recruiting some more troops, but of course I would like my income to improve first. Okay, that needs to be converted. So does this, that's shit. So does this. Where's that at? Segadonum. Because that's only two food. I don't care about 2% research rate. It's not going to affect anything. You need 50 of them to double your research rate. Fuck that. That's having like one in every single region. I mean, this provides... Hang on, that's no extra... Uh, three, 30 wealth from culture, but this is 40 wealth from agriculture. Yeah, whatever. But three extra food. Food at the moment is providing me my max bonuses... Fuck it. Need the food. And this, I'm considering... 
actually, where's Devona? There. What if instead of this we built a mine? Because the public order here should be fine. Let's cancel that. Destroy it. And build a mine there instead. Because a mine can be worth a shit ton of money. Uh, okay, I've still got some money left over, so let's recruit. <laughs> One oath sworn. Oh well, better than nothing. Still, of course, need to get some troops over here. Can't have them go away, they need to protect against Massalia now. Which means it could be up to this guy. Or him. Because he'll be able to force march over here, but then not make it back. But anyway, as long as I keep an eye on over here, no one's going to be able to make it over there within a single turn. So that should be fine. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Got to be very careful I don't make any mistakes. I should be a lot bigger than the Romans now. I like friends. I like making friends. We could be friends. Then I wouldn't have to kill you. Just enemies. Fair enough. I don't like friends though. Friends are just future enemies. I am the knife. Faction destroyed. Who cares? Seems like we're going to get a couple of big factions around here soon. Of which I seem to be the biggest. At the moment. You need to go. Good. Full on assassination. Which should make this guy a bit better. Hopefully, get to level up. Yep. And we improve our chances of success here with this. Very good. Plus extra cunning. Sally is pissed off back over here. Uh, let's see if we can get that non-aggression pact. Because I don't really want to expand that way just yet. For matters of state and a splendid they hate me for expansionism and military actions against Rome. Actually, I might be able to get a peace treaty with Rome now. Do not waste time on there we go, because there's back. really no need to keep fighting. Speak what you must and be done. Oh, they're going to pay me a fortune. Because I... I came to the war in defense of these fuckers, whatever they were called, and they're dead now. And so no one's going to consider this dishonorable. So I'll have to get 4,000 out of it. Experience the lictor's whips if I accepted your crew. The yep, I didn't lose any problems. Such a proposal. But yet Ro okay, that's more money. That's a whole, nearly a whole turn's worth of income. And I've deprived it from Rome, which is always good. Okay, so Devona, because it's a internal city, so it's unlikely to be attacked. Build a quarry. Okay, what else? That's been dealt with. Can I declare war on it? I think it's three more turns. Three more. I probably could almost afford a reputation hit. But it's not worth risking whilst this province here is completely undefended. Don't want to give anyone any excuse to attack me. However, I really want to take them. Let's see if they'll join the Confederacy now. The guards will have me listen to you, but do not pass the day in words without merit. They will not. Okay, so I've still got plenty of money left over. What to do? What do you want? Shut up. Yep, do that. Gaul is mother to us all. 
So you get that. This person can save me some more money, that's very good. With extra cultural influence. Okay, and over here, get our spy into Britannia so we can see what's going on. Alright, probably won't be able to trade with them. Oh, no, I can't. But they don't like you are me. Welcome, my... Why don't they like sure me? That your wares will find Expansionism. A Prick. Not with us. Is that part of what my faction is? Let's have a look. Gallic tribes, the Arverni. Huh. <sighs> I don't know. Doesn't matter. Okay, let's have a look. What can I expand over here? Expanding that provides an extra four food. Uh, sorry, an extra two food. And extra wealth from agriculture. Plus, since it's in the capital, you can actually expand it an extra way. Public order seems fine. So, yes, let's do that. I've got the money for it. And since I do have even more money, let's keep going with this. This will get done, which will provide extra income through tariffs. Not a big deal, but we'll also get the chieftain's hold, which is important. Now, how much money am I making through trade? Jack shit. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Okay, now we've reached a point where it's time to expand these settlements, the capitals, to level 3. So we need... where is it? This. Because I can afford the pub, uh, public order problems that it provides. Uh, minus 4, plus the extra food. I can support that now. And that what this will do is give me a lot more income, so I can produce more troops. Once again, another general here. Eventually, this guy won't succeed. But hopefully, it's not today. Good, he succeeded. That's what I wanted to see. Keep that coming. Okay, we can expand this. Yes, we want that. Oh, that increases land recruitment costs. Oh, that doesn't really concern me. The next level will provide it with level th uh, with 300 wealth, I think. And then above that, to 600. But that's like minus 10 public order. Which at the moment, I can afford. Alright, what else? These guys can't leave Nabo. And it's still Roman as well. This needs to be switched to something else. Yes, I can always use more food. No need to recruit with this one. Fuck it. If these guys are going to take it down, then they're good enough for me. How many turns is it now? Two more until I can attack it. Come, come. Let me hear yep. your talk. So then, let's take the spy and keep having a look along here. I have a feeling that this particular faction owns all of Britain. Yes, they do. I should have just bloody checked that before. Anyway, I'll send this guy next turn back over here to have a look at these last few tribes over, over this way. Right, is there anyone here that doesn't quite mind me that I can trade with? No. Not gonna happen. 
Okay, the Pictone is... They don't like me quite as much now. Why is that? Because I have a treaty with the Redonis. Let's see what we can do about that. You are welcome, although my ancestors... I thank you for the offer. We are not They're at war with the Redonis. The Redonis. Oh, shit. I reckon my next war is going to be against them. It's okay if the Redonis take out the... Hang on, let's see if the uh, Pictonis will join the Confederation now because they're under threat. Greetings to you. I trust you come with honorable words that I can hear kindly. Yeah, they're not going to accept this. The Redonis like me though, right? No, they hate me. We've got an aggression pact. Do not attempt to sweeten truth with honey. Speak plain. We need some troops over there. Right the fuck now. This one here, not high priority. Forget about that. You, get moving over here. You need to protect this region. What do we need? Hang on. Needs another dignitary as well. Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? Let's see. Public order. Yep, we'll go with you. Ready for battle. Try and keep it balanced. No one's likely to attack Nemesis, and even if they do, it's pretty secure. All oh, right, I could have built that, but I've got no money. Doesn't matter. Let's move on to the next turn. Okay, so now there's a German confederation as well. But that's all the way in the east, I don't have to worry about that. Yeah, you'll need to be over here soon. This war is going to end one way or another. I imagine, unless they've got a peace treaty. Nope. Okay, so I just researched this. Wealth from agriculture, that's... Nah, who cares? Let's see what else there is. One cultural conversion, don't care about that. Tribal unity, that would be okay. That's useless. 10% technology research rate. Seems kind of stupid that I would pay that much for that. Plus 5 Imperium. Up to 4 public order from Celtic culture. That sort of negates the big problem that I have with mine. My factional penalty. That's pretty damn useful. In order to get that though, I need to spend 2,000, then 4,000, that's 6,000. So 14,000 in order to get that within the next three turns. That's fucking expensive. I will get that, but maybe not yet. What else is there? Movement speed for all light cavalry. That's not really that important since I don't have any. Minus five morale for all enemy units. That's interesting. But that's that's way out of my price range there. 10% extra wealth from subsistence. That could be extremely useful. Fuck it. Just research that for now. Probably not going to go through the whole thing. Because we need to utilize the... Uh... Oh, fuck. It's too expensive. That costs an extra two food. Doesn't lose any public order though, because of the gold. Provides a lot of extra income. Extra 150. Plus extra... Extra garrison. Okay, what about... This here. 
I have little gain in wasting Next the turn. So what I'm going to do is bring these guys all the way up to Tolosa. Because I don't think Segedonim is going to get attacked. Yeah. Save me some money. I need to make as much money as I possibly fucking can. Uh, that would be much better in the hands of a uh, spy. Especially, perhaps, you. Yes, I need money. Uh, that can actually probably wait. I'd prefer to upgrade the settlements. And, of course, need to pay for this army. Can you join that? Administrate. Okay. I'm not going to recruit this turn. I'm going to try and save as much money as I can so that I can afford to upgrade some of these settlements next turn. Okay, then there's a spy up here. Where are you? There. Diplomacy is fine. Just leave it alone. How many regions do I have? Eleven. It's not too bad. Not worrying about Rome. Oh, look, these guys are taking on Massalia. Good for them. I kind of hope they win. Because I think I'm on good good relations with them. If I can't hear it, yeah. Sit, friend, and let us talk. Let's see if I can get them and to join the Confederation. Until we can talk no more. Holy shit! But what would I do with this turn? If I do it next turn, I can get Massalia or Massilia as well. Possibly, if they win. I've got to try and find a way to, to profit off this. I don't really have a heap load of armies. That's funny, when I played Caesar and Gaul, you could make it from here to here by, by sending troops. Maybe it was by navy, I don't know. Pretty sure I have military access through their land. If I moved off here... Public order's fine, don't need to worry about that. No, just stay there. Alright, moving on to the next turn. Aggressor Rome against my ally. Uh, well, I have to enter the war on the side of the ally, but this is probably going to give me a reputation here because I've got a ceasefire with them. Vercontio must have died. Yeah, I thought so. Fucking Romans. Fucking allies as well. And now it's winter, so I can't send these guys over here if I even wanted to. Um, well, I could. They're just going to take attrition. I don't think they're going to attack me. Anyway, it's time to get rid of these guys. Did I forget to bloody assassinate this prick? Doesn't matter. Take him down this turn. No problem. Uh, they lost. Oh, shit. Massalia actually won the fucking war. Uh oh, maybe I should have bloody accepted the, um, the, uh, what's it called? Confederation. Oh well, hindsight. It's a bitch. Anyway, let's consolidate the south, so I don't have to worry about these guys anymore. Don't drag them into it. These guys attack. These guys just reinforce. They don't take too much attrition down here. It's not that snowy. 
Of course, we need to fight this manually because that's part of the fucking campaign. But this should be a piece of fucking cake. Fuck off, fog. Piece of shit. Anyway, gotta wait for my reinforcements. Once they arrive, nothing to be concerned about. They're coming from over here. Our reinforcements have arrived. Fucking fog. Usually it had some dry option, but it was three lots of fog. Or four lots, I don't know. Fucking grow out properly, you piece of shit. Fucking turds. this guy doesn't die. Here they come. All I need to do is win. I don't need to go chase them down or anything fancy. Just a straight up kill fest. Or route fest, whichever. Okay, they're almost in range. Blow the living fuck out of them. Now we just wait till they get a bit closer, and then I'll just send both my formation groups into attack. Here we go, that'll do. Alright guys, off you go. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Big old smash. Nothing to be concerned about at all. Fuck, 13 losses, that's pretty damn good. Good, and that gives the whole province to me, and a much more secure frontier. For the tribe. And the end of that faction. We should also be the end of all Iberian factions in this particular campaign. Ready for battle. Now you need to force march the fuck back over to, oh, just out of reach. Oh shit. Now you can't go through all that fucking snow. Just stay there then. I'll have to wait till winter's end. And you can be upgraded and then disbanded. So, what's going on here and why is the public order ba so bad? What's this? No, we don't need that. Get rid of it. Maybe instead here build a. Um, a mine. This is going to be a rich region, especially now that I'm going to put that down. Hang on, let me just check. Yeah, go with that.
So what's all the public order penalties? Uh, provincial instability as well. Slaves. Events. What's going on? Harsh winter. Right, that can't help. Now we've got stone as well. Limestone. Or whatever. Can I trade that with anyone? Everyone hates me for some reason. Ah, uh, because of expansionism, right? Greetings. Now speak plainly. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I've got tons of money. What do we need to upgrade? What first? Which region has the most money? Gogovia. And it is a frontier region, and it's the capital, so yes, I think that would be a perfect place to upgrade first. We can't afford to do anything else. However, we can do this. An extra three public order, that'll certainly help. Okay, still got two grand left over. What I might do is progress... Wait, where was that thing? This one here? Progress this along. So we'll get that. That'll cost 2,000. And it will also give me extra wealth from agriculture. This region's shit. See if I can get a peace treaty with Rome. Do not waste time on pleasantries. Whoa! What the fuck? How am I untrustworthy? I didn't do anything treacherous. I waited until the peace treaty was was over. Oh fuck! Well, if my reputation's ruined, then who cares about getting a peace treaty if it means getting some more money out of them? Fuck my damn ally. It's probably dead anyway. Senators are not whores and costermongers to be bought for a handful of coin. Yes, you are, you motherfucker. You can accept that. Such an offer now I'm completely unreliable. Taste. Shit. Probably not going to expect that they're going to be particularly happy with me over that. Might be a good idea to get these armies up and running. Is to us all. I mean, after a certain amount of time, that'll go back to being reliable. Everyone else does seem pretty concerned with other things, and plus it's winter. People are unlikely to attack with any real force. Might not spend any money, because I still want to fix up these regions. Yes, I need that. need food. Extra public order here. I don't think it's really urgent. Just leave that as it is. Over here, things are fine. Yeah, just leave it alone. I'll get some money next turn that I can probably use to build up some more of these territories. Okay, let's move on to the next turn. Ah, of course, there's always somebody that's got to level up. Okay, this is good. This will give me some money. Very good. Just broke 5,000. Ah, oh, I forgot about that shit with... What's this? Ah, uh, what the hell's a fawn? Is it some kind of dog? Was it like a loyal dog? What the fuck? 
reprimand the general. Whatever, who cares? Get back over here. Get moving. Okay, so I own three whole provinces. Okay, so I finished researching that. This will cost 4,000. That'll give me tribal unity, which will be important. But costing 4,000, that's a lot. Maybe just continue on with that this turn, because we still need to upgrade some of these settlements. Ah, we've still got this as well. Um, I'm leaning towards a quarry, because I do have quite a big surplus of food at the moment. Yeah, I just need more money. Let's upgrade Bertigala. So the public order in this province isn't particularly good. Why is that? Provincial instability, slaves, events, faction. Alright, um, I can fix up that faction problem by researching this. Well, what else is being fixed up here? Nothing, really. Can, uh... Could probably justify expanding that. Because that's providing plenty of food. This province is providing me with 12 food. Maybe it's best we not build that here. Instead build it at Tolosa, which has much better public order. I'm not at war with anyone, am I? No. Rome hates me, but fuck them. What are we going to do about Massalia? We can't leave them alone. Ah, I've got an interesting thought. Since this is a better army than this guy, I'll bring him over this way because it's got a road. You don't take attrition by a road. Up this way and then get ready to attack, I think. Attack Massalia. Because they're never going to accept any treaties with me. They're too friendly with Rome. Or maybe we can hit both settlements at the same time with this. This one here would have to take on Massalia because it's much bigger. Right, get them down here. You guys. Just stand right there. Probably take some attrition. No, it didn't. Very good. Public order seems okay, but stay there anyway. Because you never know, these motherfuckers... Oh, they... Uh, we'd have to really get the hit on them really quickly. Hang on, what kind of garrison have we got here in Nabo now? It's not too bad, they don't have a... They don't have a navy. Hmm, they do have a lot of forces. Most of it's shit, though. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Of course. I live to serve the people of Gaul. What is this? This is a dignitary. Alright, did that just decrease my money? Doesn't matter. Okay, moving on to the next turn. Forgot about the fucking spy. Oh wait, no I didn't. I moved him. Yeah, who cares? That's absolutely useless. Hmm. These guys ne need to strike Massalia. Definitely not by sea. I live to serve the people of Gaul. You take a step back. And allow them to stand there. 
and we'll attack them next turn. Because they, they don't have much of a fleet, and if that fleet lands here, we'll crush them. You would be uh, much more used to me sabotaging some prick over here. Let him through. Now that I think about it, you are no longer needed here either. Get over here. And you should probably come over here. Hmm, this region's only just in the green. And it's going to go down once that's been fixed up. So, yeah, we need to fix this. Can't afford to do that. But that's okay, this region's not in the best shape just yet. Could probably benefit from getting another champion. None of them are particularly good, but we'll get you. Let's see. Got this person over here. Where are you? There. Get you back on dry land and go find out whoever prick lives up this way. Could upgrade that. It'll cost me food. Extra four public order, though. It's not too bad. Considering there's still provincial instability, I don't think it's really necessary. I'm gonna try and keep my food where it is. Hang on, I could upgrade the gold up here, couldn't I? I don't have the money to do it though. I could upgrade this. I could upgrade that, that'll cost public order though. For an extra two food, I don't think that's really worth it. But then again, it does provide two Celtic warriors in the defense of this place. And that's pretty good. The public order here is not too bad. What's What are the problems, though? Provincial instability. Still here, slaves. Some things are getting fixed up. Fuck it, let's get it. And that'll help against any surprise attacks by sea yeah, within the next five turns, which, let's face it, this will all be over in five turns. Over this way, with Massalia. But then again, Rome could strike. You never know. Yep, they all hate me. That's fine. Let's move on to the next turn. Come on, winter be over already. Need to get these guys over there. then again, even them, they wouldn't be able to defend against fucking triple stacks. Are they still at war with the Rutini? The Redonis, whatever. Uh, what was that? Said something. Rudos. Good. Increase my income. Money's going up, which is good. If I don't spend anything, I can afford... Well, actually, I can just afford that normally. Which I might do, actually. Let's get that. Hang on, what month is it? Late November. Well, let's just see what happens here, because we're going to take on Massalia now. We are not known as Untrustworthy, so my... Therefore, Rating's welcome. getting a little bit better. I'm not going to drag them in. Although I could. Okay, you, it's your job to go take this down. But do you need assistance? So do you need me to sabotage this first? The garrison here is not particularly strong. We'll blow down the walls. And that's not even a full stack. I don't think you need any help. The other one kind of might. Work, 
Let's have a look up here. What have they got? I'm certain they had another full stack or something like that somewhere around here. Now you can't quite make it all the way there, but that's okay. You don't have to this turn. You do. <laughs> Even with that, auto resolve still favors me. Well, let's go crush them. This will probably be a bit of a long battle. But then again, my guys are super killers. Let's go destroy them. This is going to be a rich settlement. It's going to make me a lot of money in the long term. Alright, fog. No, we don't want that. Nice and dry. Perfect. Alright, so where would be the best place to attack from? Here would be good, because then we'll have a high ground able to blast into this section where the majority of their troops will be there, likely. Uh, I don't like... Ah, uh, shit. Keep those ladders, these ones, out of the fucking way. Understood. Nice, tidy army. I don't like it too diverse. Enemy reinforcements approaching. Right, hang on, blow this section up here. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Just... Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know. I'll be sending in the cavalry first anyway. So they've got that ship coming in here. What are they? They're hoplites. How many of them? 120. I really need to try and kill them. Oh shit, what's this? Oh, those are the garrison units. They don't really matter. Kill those because those could fly off and go to Narbo. But then again, my guys should be able to handle that easily. It's not a huge gap, but I'm going to send my cavalry in now. Hopefully it will lure these pricks off the walls, so I can send the cavalry to go kill them. The fuck? Oh, they've got that on. Now, I need to try and not take too much damage, because you never know, there could be a full stack right around the corner that's going to attack the settlement next turn, so I need to be able to defend against a full stack. Because I know I've seen them with two full stacks. I doubt they just disbanded them. They might have lost a lot of troops fighting the, um, the, the, whatever the fuck they were, the Vocontii. Celtic Slingers, they're not going to do that much. Get down over here. Try and lure them off the walls. What's this? And also neutralize... Ah, oh, shit, they've got units over here as well. Try and lure them off the walls. What's this? More slingers? Yeah, because all the missile units, they're, they're good against my oath sworn. Come on, hopefully me fighting them is going to drag them off the walls. So far I haven't lost any men though, because these are good heavy cavalry. I don't know why their base morale is down though. Okay, there's no need for all of them to be here. Somebody stand over here and neutralize this piece of shit. I'm still surprised I haven't lost a single man yet. Some of them have a lot of kills. Okay, you go back there and kill them. Okay, now I've lost a man. Probably should face them. Not show the back. Does 
doesn't matter, it's almost neutralized. No, 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 over there. Got to keep killing them. That's been neutralized. Good. You go help out over here. This is done. Good. Help out over here. Try and drag these fuckers off the walls. Oh, they've got skirmishes. Slingers I can deal with. Skirmishes are a pain in the ass. He's taking a bit of damage. I could get him off the horse, off their horses, and um, actually take the tower for myself. I don't think I really need to do that, though. Ah, oh, shit, those guys are shooting. Alright, artillery. These guys are determined not to get off the wall. What the fuck you guys think you're doing? Get over here. Oh, don't tell me you're fucking stuck. Shit, I lost a lot of men on that. Ah, my own fucking fault. Doesn't matter. What's wrong with these guys? They're fucking stuck. I don't know what's wrong with them. Broken, not shattered though. they could come back, but he will shatter them. What's this? Got Celtic Slingers there. Go fight them. to be shattered. Uh, hang on, wait for that wall to come down first. So much about using my artillery for destroying this, but gotta get rid of these fucking skirmishes. Come on, shatter it. Taking too much damn damage. Good shattered. Well done. Now get over here. What the hell are you doing? Now it looks like there's another unit down here. I think. Yep, there they are. I can't fucking attack them till they're all off the wall. There we go.
Okay, those Celtic skirmishes have come off the wall. That's good. We should go kill them. The enemy have captured the gates. Huh? All oh, right. Yeah. I never properly captured it anyway. All right, head back over there and fight them. What the hell are you doing? Get in here. The hell is wrong with the cavalry in this battle? They're not obeying orders. What's wrong with you? Get shot to shit. Get back in here. Fuck all. Just get the hell away from them. Morons. Oh, my guys are tired. That's not good. Probably due to get them out of here, I suppose. Good enough, Shattered. Time to leave the city. Oh, not leave the city, but get over here. There's no one defending this wall. Alright, guys, time for you to come in. Most of the skirmishers have been killed. Well, a lot of them. So you guys shouldn't have too much trouble going up there and killing them. wrong with you the enemy have captured the gates they've come off the walls again fuck it just go back over there and fight them that's what cavalry are good at oh, now they're going back up on the walls I think they're just trying to lure me over Pilot dick. Doesn't matter, I'll be able to go up there now with my infantry and kill. Holy fuck, they took a lot of damage. No, you're out of this fight. Holy shit, actually, let's just ignore them completely. Let's come around this way. Fuck them. Bloody skirmishes killed 61 of these men. And a couple of the other ones. Anyway, you're out of the fight, you stay right here. You can take that tower for me. I suppose you guys can take this tower before taking on the town square, which really shouldn't be a problem for you. We have captured a tower! Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Bloody prick skirmishes. Get the cavalry to do it then. They're taken down. This is neutralized. Very good. Okay, so we'll take one half through this way and the other half through this way. And you we guys will come around tower. this way and flank them.
These guys are probably just going to stay up on the walls. Doesn't matter, they'll all get killed provided I win the battle. Which, I don't see any reason why I won't. Okay, my guys could probably use a bit of a rest first. Or not. Essentially, they'll kill them pretty well either way. Come on, shatter them already. Quit pussyfooting around. What's this? Oh, nothing. It's just my guys. All right. Get into position. Get ready to charge in here once their defensive position's all fucked up. Still gonna slaughter them. Even though they're exhausted. These guys in melee are pretty much unstoppable. Except for Praetorians. Look at them go, all I see is these fucking Celts getting killed. Well, essentially these guys are Celts as well. Fuck it, they don't need a rest, just go and kill them. It kicks some ass. Okay, they've lowered their guard over here. Perfect. Time for my cavalry to ass fuck them. Which they should be used to, being Greek and all. Skirmishes. Oh, for fuck's sake. Alright. Cavalry, you need to go around all the way here to get to them. Today would be nice. If they had used the whip, they'd be perfect. But then they'd be overpowered. Oh well, doesn't matter. Yeah, still kicking ass over here. And over here, they're starting to come down now. tired. Yeah. <laughs> 
down here and smash him. Perfect. That ought to get them running. And now go smash them. Forget about this prick here. Take them down. Cavalry taking a bit of damage. Holy shit, what's going on here? Oh, fuck. Didn't see what was going on. Those of us want to finish. I'll have to send some reinforcements. Fucking skirmishes. Well, that's not good. Doesn't matter, the battle's still won. There we go. Wasn't the best battle ever, but at least I've got it. It would actually be nice if that actual unit didn't die. Let me see. No, he's still alive. Thank fuck for that. If he lost maybe one or two more men, he would have been fucked. So that's extremely lucky. One at just the right time, another volley would have finished him off. Good, they took damage. They're unlikely to be of any real threat. I doubt there's going to be any mercenaries available for them. And there was that other stack that I was talking about. But if they come here, I'm pretty confident I can defend against it. Shouldn't be a problem. I could send them over here to fight them. But... I need to take this down. But we can't go too far up this way or else we'll start taking attrition. It's late November, which means we can't actually go there until spring. What I'll do is I'll put these guys just here. Yeah, that should do it. I could actually put them on raid. Would reduce upkeep costs. I wonder if I could actually get a peace treaty with them. I mean, since my reputation's already Greetings ruined, it doesn't really matter. Of hmm. Speak, but do not deceive with tricky rhetoric, false logic, or cloying pathos. Fuck off. Yeah, they'll pay through the nose to bloody get a peace treaty with me. Fuck off. Peace is not an easy word. Warriors speak of honor and glory, but you have. I accept. I'm right back down to unreliable. Okay. So we'll wait a few turns before going after that. Gives time for uh, these guys to recover and all that shit. Okay, this territory here. That's got to go. That's got to go. Got to convert that. Convert that to... Hang on, what's this? Provides food at the cost of four public order, but does provide quite a lot of food. I don't have anything that can match that. I might actually keep it. Yeah, I'll convert... Even though that's useful for research rate... I think I would prefer public order, so let's get the chieftain's hold. Yeah, now that's actually really good. Okay then. And what else can we do? We can expand this.
got so much money I might be able to afford to actually raise some more troops. My income just took a huge, huge increase. That one settlement there is worth over a thousand. That's great. Definitely worth attacking them then. Yes, expand that. Yes, need that. And get some more troops. Oh, well, two's better than nothing. The money I'm making from this pays for it. Does have a lot of public order problems, though. But that's okay. Alright, let's move on to the next turn. Oh yeah, forgot about you. Oh, who cares. War! We will make your homes a wasteland. Despoil your women. The fuck? Why would you bother? And desecrate your ancestors' graves. Probably because I'm so unreliable now. But that's just what happens with me. Alright, well I think I might end the video here. Let's have a quick review of the situation. Alright, so... My empire is pretty big. I'm certainly the biggest faction, bigger than Rome. I've got the best armies. I don't see why these guys would want to attack me. I mean, I'm ages away from them. That doesn't matter. Just need to protect this territory here, which I still regret joining the Confederacy for, because I paid a lot of money for it. This province here has gone down in income, probably because I destroyed that. Doesn't matter, I'll fix it up with food. Yeah. Anyway, that's the end of this video, so like and subscribe. Part 8, I think, is next. And don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.